Hey guys, uh, today is 9th of December 2021, Thursday, and I'm gonna be taking a vlog for my typical day in Galore. So today I have one class at 10.30 and I have one meeting at 4 o'clock. And the rest of the time I'm gonna be walking or reading or let's see how I feel like it. Now is 10 to 10 and I haven't had my breakfast. Actually, I have my breakfast delivered and um, Here's my breakfast. Oops. Here's my breakfast. But um, it's noodle salad and I really don't like it. So I'm just gonna head to uh, Color Heritage for my breakfast. And um, see you there. So I have my tripod here and I'm gonna take my key. Oh my god. And, uh, oops, turn the light off. And. Uh, anyway, this is the view from my balcony. It's so nice and so amazing. And this is the walk table where I used to sit and walk. Um, yeah, most of the time. And my dog is over there. She's avoiding me because I scolded her see see what she did anyway this is my motorbike and this is me this is Galo heritage hotel and i'm gonna sit right there oh my god there are some people there i can't sit Most come. Most, Most come. Most come. Used to. Okay. Next one is assimilation. So this is a uh, zhi and shi. Okay. Some sound you create shi sound. Some sound you create zhi sound. Okay. For example, here, don't you? Don't you? Meet don't you. you. Yes. Don't you meet you? Did you? Would you? Yes. This one is did you? Would you? Did you? Hey guys, so yeah, I have finished my morning class and now I'm gonna have my coffee and my remaining pancake and um, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys with what I've been doing lately and currently I am teaching four classes um, and it's about like 16 hours a week and the four classes are, as you know, on my Facebook page, uh, I have two young learner classes and one academy English class. And the other one class is my one-on-one -on -one training. I am training a student that is taking an IELTS exam in the early of February or something, helping her to get a, you know, better result. And um, what else? Um, so... To be honest, I have a lot of free time and in my free time, I usually do trekking or jogging and I do reading and uh, I do meditation. Sometimes I do some chanting and stuff and also lately I offer some special packages to my students uh, that they can enroll up to 12 weeks rather than just four weeks so the large proportion of my students they enroll like 12 weeks so today I'm gonna be doing a lot of planning for my uh, four classes and um, yeah also I'm gonna tell you I am reading this book, Make to Stick by Chip Holt and Dan Holt. Chip Holt, and this is about uh, how to make the idea stick. So I'm gonna briefly tell you about this uh, book. So there is an acronym called SUCCESS, uh, S-U-C-C-E-S. So S for simplicity and expectedness, uh, concreteness, emotional, credibility and story so that stands for success and 
Yeah, I've only got like 40 more pages to complete the entire book and which I'm gonna complete this week, period. And um, because, you know, um, at the end of this year, I'm gonna be writing a blog called uh, 21 books that I read in 2021, but I've only read 19 books so far. And uh, let's see if I can make it up to 21 or not. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is my pancake. And the breakfast here is very nice. It's quite versatile and I can order up to two main courses and two drinks for 10,000 chats only. I usually come here for some time for breakfast, some time for lunch and I really like the food here and I really love this environment because it's very quiet and mostly it's all on my own. I feel like I own this place or something because um, there isn't many people. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I had <clears throat> vegetable salad before my before my class and now I'm eating my pancake. And usually I just stay at my hotel, uh, Morning Glory, to get things done and get a um, quality of life and which I do. Sometimes I also come here, as I said before, that um, I really love the food and the atmosphere. Also, the staff are really nice. They all know me and they all know what I want. And um, I feel like a home. The only thing that I'm lacking in my life in Galore is that I can't do shopping and I can't do socializing and I can't do any dating and stuff, you know. Which is okay. Mm, I don't really find this activity really essential or get any value to my life. So that's all right. Whenever my friends from Yangon visit me to Kala, I just, you know, give them all of my time and be with them and have a quality time with my friends so if you're thinking of visiting to Galam feel free to contact me and I'm very happy to host you yeah I've got a few friends from here and in Yangshui sometimes I meet them but not like very frequently Before I read that book, I was reading a book called Essentialism and it got me reflect my whole life, especially in Galore. And I found that, uh, wow, my, my life has been exponentially, you know, evolved since I moved here. And I'm glad that I did that and I have eliminate a lot of things a lot of people a lot of activities that are not essential in my life and my life is really minimal simple and essential which is exactly what i really want i'm not saying that it's 100 percent good um Sometimes I feel bored, sometimes I feel quite lonely and stuff, but it's very like very rare. Mostly I just loved it. And I really don't know what I should do with my future yet. And um, maybe most likely I'm going to develop um my business um Mess suit training, and um, I'm gonna 
you know create more and more frequent contents so that you know I can have a larger community and audience and followers and stuff um, it's not like I want to be like popular or something I just want to like develop something so I'm gonna focus on my business at the moment it's not about making many and I'm making a lot more money than I used to earn in my previous so I I won't be doing any um, initiative to to make money but I will be making initiative to um, inspire people and to share knowledge and to you know do some positive influence on people that's the that's the thing that i'm going to be doing in 2022 but not necessarily financially because i'm okay with um what i'm uh, having at the moment and uh, yeah So <clears throat> Friday, Saturday and Sunday I have no class so I have all the time on my own so I'm gonna be doing some reading, meditation, jogging and just chilling and enjoying life. That's my plan for the weekend. Um, I just got home from Gala Heritage and it's 1.30 now. I read about 10 pages, um, which is not a lot uh, for me to read. I almost finished it and um, I couldn't really focus on reading because in my mind I, I've always been thinking to take this vlog. So I've been distracted so I just stopped reading for a while and came back home and continue doing some other work usually when I do a task I spend the entire day or a few days doing the only one task so that it just make me in the mood or got me in the flow of the task uh, that I'm working rather than doing two or three tasks at the same time for example if I tend to read I, I happen to read for about three days doing nothing I might have some classes but the rest of the time I would rather do only reading or if I happen to do some chanting I would do chanting for a few days uh, no reading or no other walks so that's how I usually walk I normally don't multitask or do two three tasks um, uh, in a day so that's how I usually uh, spend my day and by doing that I am more concentrated and focused and more productive so yeah and for today I am going to do jogging to Milo Mountain and I'm gonna take you there guys before I take you to Milo Mountain for hiking I'm gonna show you my room real quick um, it's not very neat and tidy but I hope you don't mind so let's go this is my lunchbox and and this is my bathroom and this is just I don't know a table that I put random stuff my bed and this is my ukulele a new one this is my walk table with a nice view over there and oops this is my bookshelf so these books are uh, fiction TBR these are the books that I haven't read and those books are non-fiction or self-help. Those are also the books that I haven't read and I've got 
a stack of books over there. Those are the books that I've read. And this is my printer. This is my dressing table. And this is my favorite thing to eat. I don't know how to call it in English. In Myanmar, we call it hijabi. This is so good. Hey guys, so I am ready to go hiking with my hiking boots and let's go. So I have my uh, counter uh, so that I can do some chanting on the way. And this key, I'm gonna hike somewhere. So look at me. So whenever I go hiking or trekking or jogging or whatever, my dog always wants to join. So I don't mind and la 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 tome. So I don't mind and let's go. My dog is getting sick because yesterday she had a huge fight with her own sister. Like really, really badly for five minutes straight or ten and she got bleeded and i don't know uh, i think it, her sister was dead or something they were just oh my god i can't describe it it was terrible just fight over a chicken liver or something la 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 sadly she's not joining today as you saw it um she's not feeling well i don't know or she's still uh, embarrassed by what she did yesterday so I'm gonna just leave her and go hiking alone she's joining see she's coming finally wait out lay la 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 come on come on come on she can't walk or run normally usually she, she she's just a fast runner today So we are now at the base of Milo Mountain from my hotel to get here. Um, it, it takes me like 10-15 minutes to walk and I'm just gonna take the shortcut to get to the mountain. I'm not gonna walk until the you know top of the mountain but I'll just walk about 30 minutes or so and just come back. Uh, I'm already so tired. Oh my god. Puerto! My Puerto is over there. Puerto, yay! La 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 la. Puerto, yay! Where are you? I'm here. Hurry up! Why are you so dirty? Come on. I'm not even tired and you are. Come, come, come. Oh my God. This is the shawl cat. And this is so uh, exhausting. <sighs> so this is uh, Milo Mountain. Widow is over there. I'm, go I'm gonna sit somewhere around here for a while and take a rest. <sighs> Puerto has arrived. I'm just gonna sit here for a while <sighs> before I return. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't had my lunch. Maybe it's about 2 2 30 or something. I don't know. <sighs> but I had my two separate <laughs> breakfast this morning, so I should be fine. Um, Usually I don't have my phone with me for no reason. I just switch off my phone and lock it up somewhere or put it somewhere where I can't reach easily. And in that way, I became more um, focused and productive because uh, I know that there is no distraction like instant messages or any notification from my phone or something like that and at night like about six o'clock i'm just i just go take my phone and check my phone usually i just stay away from my phone for the whole day because it's just so distracting i'm not sure about for other people but for me if i have a phone around me or in my hand or something um i don't feel relaxed you know i 
always have a temptation to check or to just see um, even though I don't have anything to check or any significant others so but um, I don't like the addictive nature of the, the mobile phone and devices so yeah so this is very peaceful here in the jungle and I've decided to do some meditation for about 10 minutes so let's see Guys, it's almost three o'clock and I'm on my way back to the hotel. Oh my god, this is really steep and dangerous. I hope I'm not fall over or something. Oh my god, oh my god, I have to stop. Okay, okay, okay. Have a good day and bye bye. So this is Bazong Bijet. So here prawns and paste. This tastes so good. So I'm gonna put it here. And so good. So I've had my lunch and I kind of feel sticky and uh, dirty. So I'm just gonna take a shower. This is my favorite net. Mm, I've had shower. So I'm in front of my dressing table and I'm just gonna do some skincare routine. And I'm gonna walk you through, okay? Usually, every morning and every evening, I cleanse my face with this one see then I'm gonna use the toner I don't know because it's my own face then I'm gonna take this one this is NAMI vitamin B3 this is very cheap but it's very effective so da -da. Da -da. that <coughs> I have this thing she shadow essential thing I don't know I just love the texture and the smell and it makes my face super moisturized and super smooth and gentle after wearing it <sighs> so yeah I just love this cream Now my hair. <laughs> and finally, I have this thing. Biodamer Ultra Hydrant. Oop. Sorry. Okay, like this. Alright. This is for my lip. Because my lip, my lip gets dry super quickly and easily. 
so I always need some gloves. That's pretty much it. I never wear makeup or sunscreen or foundation or anything like that because I just don't feel comfortable uh, putting the unnecessary stuff on my face. I just, all I need is some moisturize and some, you know, soothing feeling and that's good enough for me. I wear makeup or CC cream or whatever whenever I, when I have some special occasion if not, no worries. I just don't need it. So, oh, so I'm going to be walking for a while. I'm just going to put some assignments, uh, some interesting cartoon videos, and some other reading stuff in the Google Classroom for my young learner classes. And I am going to select some interesting topics and lesson for my academic English class and do some pre preparation for that. And also, I'm just going to look for some interesting material for my ILTS uh, training and uh, yes that's pretty much it. and this is the end of the vlog for now and see you next time